you miss the good old days, or perhaps the bad old days of presentations, when some dude would drone on and on, flipping overheads onto a projector? Oh, I can smell it now. Fortunately, those days are long gone, thanks to projectors like this one. This is Epson's Powerlight 76C. It's one of a broad range of business and home theater projectors from Epson. Now, our show today geared towards the small business person who typically makes a lot of sacrifices for his or her venture. Now, I think there should be some extra rewards, perhaps personal little rewards for all of that hard work and dedication. And getting a business projector like the 76C can provide a few of those rewards. More on that in a minute. Let's first take a look at why this is a great projector. First of all, very portable. Just over five pounds, comes with a carrying case, all the cables fit in, easy to transport about. And it's a very bright projector, 2,000 lumens, which means it works very well in even brightly lit conditions. We're going to turn it on in a few moments here in our TV studio, and there's very few places, I can assure you, that are brighter than a TV studio. You see it's going to still display very crisp and very clear. It's an XGA display, means it's 1024 by 768 resolution, so it works great for most presentations that you're going to have to deliver. Now, inside, it uses Epson's 3 LCD technology. Now, Epson invented the first LCD projector way back. Now, people can easily get confused between DLP and LCD as far as projectors are concerned. We're not talking about TV displays here. We're talking about projectors. So the difference between DLP and LCD? Well, with LCD, light is split with a prism into separate red, blue, and green channels. Then it's recombined with another prism before it's actually displayed on the screen. So there's no moving parts like there are in a DLP projector, because a DLP projector has a moving color wheel as an integral part of the design. Because LCDs have no moving parts, they run cooler. And heat is the enemy of projectors. It wears out the lamps, it wears out the fans. Speaking of fans, because the projector runs cooler, we need a less powerful fan to cool it. So the fan runs quieter, which is important in projectors. Now let's talk about the picture itself. Because we're dealing with prisms, the resulting picture is optically created as opposed to mechanically. That results in more accurate color registration. And another benefit is there's far less fatigue on the eyes if you're watching this display for a long time. So technically speaking, this is one awesome projector. But you know, it's in the little things that life really makes a difference, isn't it? So th little things on this projector like the power on and off button that beeps to tell you that you've turned it on or off. As a matter of fact, all of the buttons beep to give you positive mm -hmm. feedback. Epson has instant on technology, which starts the warm-up process in about four seconds. So it's very fast and it's easy to set up. A little leg drops down for you to adjust the angle. You've got manual focus for really quickly setting up the focus and a 1.2 times optical zoom. And as far as dealing with keystoning, which is the, the tilting of an image this way or that way as it's projected up or down, it'll be correct for up to 30 degrees of keystone. Now, the little thing that I like best is this little thing, which is a full-featured remote control, which includes most emulation functions and an electronic pointer for complete control over your presentation. Now, how this works is you hook your projector up, and then you plug a USB cable into the computer that's running your presentation. Now, through this USB cable, now this device will allow us to control our computer. Things like clicking our mouse, moving the mouse around on the screen, or even putting up a pointer on the screen is all accomplished with this little remote control. And you can also do normal setup things as far as setting the brightness of the, com of the projector and all that sort of stuff is up as well. So this is an awesome little addition. So you've been out on the road, you've made a presentation, a brilliant presentation, I might add, and now it's time to go home, time to bring the projector home. So we bring it home, and if we take a look here in the back, we see some additional inputs. First of all, we see a monitor out input, which is great when you're on the road doing presentations, if you need to be able to see your presentation and you can't see the screen. But look at these other ones. These are all video for composite video, for component and S video compatibility. And it also allows us to plug in high definition sources, 480i, 480p, 720p, and 1080i formats we can plug in to the projector. So if you have a high definition source at home, if you have a cable box, if you have a high def DVD player, you can play movie night on this projector at home and enjoy high definition television at home with your business projector. Other little things, like the cooling fan is located here in the front of the unit, so that if you're sitting behind the projector, which most audiences are, the hot air from the projector is not being blown on top of you. So they thought of all the little things in this to make it that much of a better projector. Also, 
It's very easy to change the lamp, which you do about every two to 3,000 hours. And the filter, the air cleaning filter, they can be changed either with a unit like this or even if it's ceiling mounted, you can access it and make the changes you need. So here's the picture. You work hard all day long. You make a great killer sales presentation and then you head home. You are the happy warrior, ripe with business success. And you're on your way home to enjoy your just desserts. Just desserts tonight might just be movie night with the kids. You know, sometimes it just doesn't get any better than that.